Welcome back to EU4 Common Sense Expansion. I am Sean Sands from GamersWithJobs.com. And go. Um, if you remember from last time, we had uh, a number of wars going on. Venice decided to uh, attack us to take back Verona. Uh, and they brought uh, uh, Tuscany in, which was these three provinces, and it ended poorly for them. But it was not an easy war, and it was not without its costs. Um, our manpower is already in shambles, but, uh, worse is the war exhaustion is still slowly bleeding off. And we are at this, you know, just at this moment, even trying to, to, to get a handle on these revolts that have taken place. Uh, we're going to try and go here again. It's, I mean, it, it's just tough because it's, it's mountainous terrain. We have a terrible general. Um, it's gonna, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna... I, come on, you cannot do this to me again. Why don't you wait till the last second, Ferrara? I think we got it this time, though. I think we got it. Those zeros, ugh. So this, this, um, this will finally and inevitably do it to our manpower. But good. Uh, we'll go down here. We'll at least get Abruzzi back and Capitanata back. We're already facing another uprising up in Arezzo. Um, but we will... I mean, we'll just manage them one at a time. There's not much else we can do right now. I think we probably should go ahead and spend the money on another barracks. We didn't want to do it here. Uh, da -da -da. Wait. Did they leave? Whoa, where are you going? Oh, are you swinging around? Because I will go back. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, now who's the defender? The answer is me, and they don't have a leader. Uh, so, okay, that is actually a pretty good result. We don't have to fight them on their terms. They took all the, you know, the crossing penalty and the mountainous terrain penalty. Um, we still took a pretty gross manpower hit. And yeah, we will officially be down at zero here in just a few minutes. Uh, and we're still facing Arezzo. Uh, I, yeah, I don't want another one right now. But we should be able to get our war exhaustion under control. Arezzo has high unrest um the unlawful territory uh, i keep forgetting that uh unlawful territory increases uh the unrest by 10 percent um so even if i increased autonomy here i'd still have like nine percent uh, uh unrest uh, in in that province so we will at some point almost certainly uh be facing a uprising in arezzo and in fact i think once we've yeah we're all good down here i think we'll just camp our troops there uh, so that when it pops, uh, we'll at least be the defender. So what's the plan? Hmm. I mean, inevitably part of the plan is just keep beating up Naples. Uh, I want to check. Um, hmm. Goodbye, more devotion. I'm not sold on devotion as a huge. It's not increasing or decreasing at this point. I mean, it's nice to have the tax modifier and the prestige. Uh, papal influence doesn't matter at all right now because I'm not getting... Uh, yeah, I'll take the prestige. Um, I, don't have a, I don't have a cardinal, so I'm not getting any influence and prestige. Uh, not prestige, papal influence. I think I can't be overly reckless with it. Uh, I'm just going to... It's fine. I know this this is going to blow up anyway, so the um, sooner it happens, the quicker we'll be done with it. Uh, okay, so we can Brabant, seed Breda to Burgundy, force to give, Burgundy 10%. Uh, Breda, Breda, Breda. Oh, good grief. Okay. Hmm. We will take our next text which give us also a new idea. This will almost, yeah, it's gonna need to be a 
military of some kind. It'd be nice to take humanist. It would be nice to take humanist. Things are going smoothly here, so I can... I'm not going to pause it while I think about this. Uh, let's go through it a bit. So, administrative now has... I mean, it's, it's so generally not that great. Um, but it does have this reduced coring creation cost by 25%, which is kind of a big deal. Uh, but probably not a big enough deal for me to take it right now. Burgundy still loves us. Even though we abandon them. You keep you keep carrying that torch for us, Burgundy. Uh, humanist is so tempting that if I'm going to take it, I should take it now. Because it has this final idea cost minus 10%. And the sooner you have access to that, the more effective it's likely to be. Economics, interesting. I'm probably going to skip that. Uh, but what we're swimming in is military power. And having more effective generals, you know, I'm thinking defensive, offensive, quantity, hard to go wrong with any of those. And yes, land attrition, you know, quantities, you know, but, you know, maintenance modifier goes down, uh, field 50% more troops, you know, get uh, morale maneuver. can't choose a diplomatic one right now because you can't have more than 50% of... Oh, no. Not one of our wonderful... Oh. Only the best burial. Come on. Come on. I mean, we only have a seven army tradition, so I'm not holding up for much. But, bam! I mean, bam! It's better. Okay, it's a step in the right direction. Got a little bit of everything. He's a jack of all trades. Uh... Adept at all, master of none. I think we gotta go humanist. Heretics, that's probably not gonna come up a ton. Religious unity, that shouldn't be a problem for us. I mean, it could be long term. Years of separatism, that's nice. National unrest, that's real nice. Culture threshold is nice. Better relations over time is great. Uh, tolerance of heathens, good. You know, particularly, I guess, if we start branching out into Germany. Idea cost minus 10% for the rest of the game, though. <sighs> yeah, I just, I don't, I don't think I have a choice. I mean, I'd love to take a military. I think I could make a lot more progress in that right now. And it's hard to spend those admin points on anything except coring costs. But it's done. It's done. Nothing to think about anymore. Uh, provincial unrest... Yeah, it's at 50%. France is at war with England. So what else is new? They've already... Uh, what is the point of being at war with England? Burgundy's already taken Co and Calais. And it's... I'm pretty sure you're not going to cross the channel, France. I'm just... I'm guessing here. Oh. Oh. This is delightful. Here again. Papal States. That's fine. I just want to watch... This guy get wrecked by England. He's sending 2,000. Will he make it? Will he make it? Nope. Whoa. Who's this? Lucrezia Borgia. I'm not going to read all that. The upside is 50 Diplo. Oh, I could definitely use the 50 Diplo. Done. All right. He's sending 1,000 1, troops into Leinster. Is he at war with Leinster? Yes. <laughs> so he's sending 1,000 troops into Leinster, where, at best, it will just be the army that gets killed. Far more likely is a massive English... Is, he could just send that... He's not even going to bother. He's like, fine. Land your troops. Give us something to kill. I could use the army tradition. Come on, France. Come on, partner in crime. You can not do it. You lost. Oh, that's embarrassing. That's so embarrassing. Uh, cool. Our first idea, religious unity, is probably, at least at this point, the least effective and useful. But got to plow through it to get to the better ones. Uh, tolerance, true faith. We'll get soon here. I haven't really go over the papal ideas. And we're in a position right now where we got to hold for a few minutes and let our manpower tick up a bit. Um, 
So the papal ideas are not surprising here. I mean, the core is we have a reputation of plus one. Everybody want to be the po everybody wants to be the pope's friend uh, if they're Catholic. Uh, our religious unity is plus twenty five percent, and you can see that reflected here. Um, now, since I also took that idea, one hundred and fifty percent, we'd have to have a lot of Protestant and Reformed uh, provinces before we'd even have to worry about religious unity. Probably never going to come up. Just not going to come up with this game. Uh, what are the other ones? So, tolerance of the true faith. Okay. Get a national tax modifier boost here in the not too distant future. Uh, yearly prestige. Uh, fabricating claims, and that's fine. Uh, production efficiency is nice. Prestige decay, okay. Aggressive expansion impact, that'll be good much, much later on. Uh, at some point, let's see, can I, can I not form Italy as with the kingdom of God, okay? Genoa, Piedmont, Milan, Modena, Sutatrol, Ferruli, so basically all this stuff. Can no longer claim the Siena. Well, fine. It's like it's throwing it in my face every now and again. Hey, remember that time you had Siena and then you just ruined it for everyone? Yes, game. I remember that. I was there. Burgundy. We'll see England will see Calais to Flanders and Co to Burgundy. Renounce its claims on Picardy. Give up money. Do a bunch of other stuff. So Burgundy now has this whole region up here. And I guess Flanders is still under a personal union. Uh, Bishop of Yeah, fine. Um... So I'm not sure what the heck France is going to do. France, what is your war over? Co, exactly. Why would you start a war when it was already sieged down? I don't understand that. It's okay. It's all right, France. You're trying real hard. I know you are. Uh, we can take another diplomatic. 100? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, it increases our relations. All right. Who else is going to be best friends with, with, with the Pope? And we got tolerance of true faith bonus too. Hmm. We could go back to Burgundy. That would make some sense. Some sense. It's got some problems too. Uh, no. It's Bavaria. Yes. Okay. Lots. Lots of things have. Oh, Tuscany is no longer a valid rival. All right. Let's slow things down. A lot of things going on. Um. Who is? Naples. <laughs> well, that was easy. Should be fabricating some claims down here again. Uh, Napoli. I think I lost a bunch of claims down here. Who would make sense? Milan would make some sense. Who's Milan rivaled with? They're definitely stronger now. Because um, they took Wallace. I mean, they only took Wallace, but... Is Burgundy interested in them? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, tragic. I should just kick him straight out. Just just to do it. Um, yeah, Burgundy's not making any claims on Milan. Milan might make a good local ally. I think I will do that. Nice. Did I ever get my... No, I didn't improve the relations with Ferrara. We should start thinking about annexing them as well. This may not be a super war-filled episode here. We really... I mean, I'd love to go attack Naples some more. Uh, yeah, I don't have a navy, so... You know, unless they're... Are they likely to invade me? Let's see. Who else is in that war? Uh, Tlemcen. Attacking Tlemcen. Castile and Portugal. I'm going to assume Castile is going to own the waves. So, we will accept. Could be worth watching to make sure the Mamluks don't try and... 
land a land a party here somewhere, but I'm not anticipating that. Uh, let's go ahead and our relations pretty good with Milan, France, Austria. Yeah, our our little collection of allies here, our own personal NATO is no, not NATO. I guess M NATO. No. Atlantic doesn't make sense. There. Um, I'm just saying words. Our own port personal little alliance cluster is shaping out well. Tunis, the Mamluks uh, are apparently just going to blockade me. Um, and they they could land eleven thousand. Oh, hey, I'm I'm Pope. I always like when that happens. So my king died. Or my Pope died. We now have a 3-2-3 three, three ruler who is kind of old, so we might not be Pope for super long. Uh, we got a bunch of new... I'm pretty happy with this group, though. Could think about getting rid of him. Where are we on this? 1.63. Taxes at 7.1. So if we increase that... We'd be, it'd still be, it'd be up to like 7.8. And we're making good money right now. We don't need to make a change. Did I? Oh, and now I get, now I get three terrible generals. Oh, hey. <laughs> it's about time, game. I'm sure you'll be dead within the year. Because. Uh, I think once we get like halfway when we were up around 11,000 manpower assuming the Mamluks aren't oh, we have a fourth diplomat now good lord ah oh, so much to do I'm so busy <laughs> Denmark how are you you do not have your unions with Sweden or Norway anymore uh, and that's right Norway bit a kind of a shark bite chunk out of Sweden there uh, Portugal friend of a friend what is my mission i've completely forgotten owns for her. yeah well that's a matter of time yeah. i won't be able to start annexing them because i'm at war so assuming this whole mamluks war doesn't become an issue the only thing i don't like is now my war exhaustion did that go down all the way oh, yeah just barely or at least close enough uh, we still have unrest in Arezzo. It'd be nice to go ahead and get da -da -da, da -da -da. Urbino for five years unrest. What's their unrest right now? I have eight to spend. Autonomy. It'd be nice not to have to worry about the autonomy. I don't really want to waste any more monarch points, though. We will, we will just suffer the blockade. At some point, though, I really do need to rebuild my navy. You know, it's interesting. I was thinking, uh, so in the last session was the situation that came up with Siena. Um, and as I went back and rewatched some of the videos that I made, it's interesting because these videos actually take a lot of brain power to manage. Like, this game is not, I mean... I was even thinking this as I was watching the first video last time. I'm like, oh, super easy, you know. Used to, you know, EU4 used to be easy to get into. I'm like, okay, that's just the perspective of somebody who's been playing EU4 for way too long. Because I'm not sure if there was any situation where you could call, um, call it easy. But, it, I mean, it certainly was, uh, I think, more more approachable for a new player at least. The curve just wasn't as high as it is now. But, you know, this game takes a lot of sort of processing and thinking. There's a lot to do at any one moment. And when you're trying to talk the whole time, too, or not the whole time, but, you know, have something interesting to say and focus on concepts, you start talking about one idea and kind of digging in. I just selected that at random, by the way. I got a, another dip. I just constant free diplomats. Pomerania, you win the lottery. Um, this is a great example. Stuff to do, stuff to kind of get distracted by. It becomes really hard to kind of stay on point. So I if you've made it this far, if you're in this video, 
I appreciate your patience with me as I was almost certainly most of the time talking about three separate topics at once. Um, equal amounts of middle gymnastics, I'm sure, to listen to as to talk to. Uh, but yeah, um, even in these sort of down times, like there's always, the, I, I think that's what I, mm, what I really like about this game. This time I will take the admin hit. Prestige is, I mean, right now, particularly early game prestige is just hard enough to come by that I don't want to give it up easily. Um, yeah, and then I completely forgot what I was saying, which I think was the point of what I was saying. So, well punctuated, somewhat ironically. All right. It's getting up there. I don't, I, I really, I'm hesitant to just jump early. This is one of those times where if I was just playing and I wasn't recording and I wasn't broadcasting, I, I would not even be considering going to war until... Uh, a little while down the road. There's a lot of other things that, that are just worth waiting for. Get Ferrara uh, started annexing. Get my manpower uh, up. Um, I just have way too much money available right now also. I can go ahead and start building some boats. To... Don't really, not really worried about transports. I think I'll spend the rest on galleys. Not going to bring them out by any means right now. I don't need to immediately build a fleet and then sink it, but I, I needed something to do with that money, and I'm hesitant to build a lot more buildings. How are we doing? Well, here we can, we can probably build some stuff down here. Capitana. What are you going to be when you grow up? Easy to do development here because it's grassy terrain. Uh, now this comes up, but I don't feel like I can give away more devotion. This would be a good chance to get a cardinal. I don't think I'm going to do it. Um, grassy terrain, so won't be extremely costly. Um just grain so not super great as far as but you know what this could be it could be more like a port could be yeah this could be one of my shipbuilding areas i think in fact that might be what i do because the shipyard and then a dock later on when i get to tech eight gives me the force limit upgrade because there's nothing obvious to do with it it's manpower is eh. it's tax income is eh. it's what is its production and eh, there's nothing really obvious that it stands out as so i think this will be a place where i build ships is it right now is that where i started building my ships yeah i've got some ships building there uh, i'm not doing an idea right now or am i am i cost of reducing more junction no there's no rush for that they still aren't landing troops so that's still fine so is still slowly edging towards unrest. Um, Bari, what are you going to be? You're also grasslands, which means you, you're cheap. Um, manpower, cheap to build stuff in. Not cheap. I'm not judging you as a person, Bari. Uh, manpower is 555 as compared to something like Capital. Well, same there. I might do the same thing here. These might be my two shipbuilding places. Uh, they have grapes. I mean, it's still only two, but that can there can be some bonuses associated with that. Trade power is four point six. Trade power six point three. Yeah, I'm gonna do that here too. Spent some money now. Spain is doing a bad job at this war, by the way. Partly because Portugal, who is in the war, is just content to go, eh, it's fine, Tlemcen. You can have them. You can have these these provinces with high coring costs that are all the worse because, um, God, I can't even, Berber traditions, which is throughout this Morocco area, is it all the way, is it all of North Afri Africa? Yeah. These Berber traditions would be brutal now. Uh, now that the coring costs have gone up as much as they have. Oh, 
Way to pay attention. All right, we're back at maximum for military power. I may have just wasted that opportunity to get extra. Okay, we're going to, I think, go back here. What was the, where were we doing? Okay, it was through here. Verona was the other one, not Romana. Um, so manpower 2611. Kick that up. Now it's 3,000. That's 400 more manpower. And the nice thing, I mean, you know, uh, yeah, we have to fill that, but it also increases the amount we get each month, too. Uh, yeah, that was the one in Kana. We're going to put some military power there, too. 2775. Six, still six years. Um, great. Why don't we start working on... So if these are going to be shipbuilding areas... The local shipbuilding time there's a bonus here um you know it's nice you'll get the month you'll see production income increase uh local goods i mean they're not great goods so that's not as big a deal um but a uh, local shipbuilding time will also help these will really be our our seafaring ports so you'll see uh, this number right here go up when i click that it's up why am i doing that do i want to spend diplo power right now not really. Okay, we'll just do that one. God, I wish there was a way I could just provoke Arezzo into going ahead. Just go ahead, revolt, get it over with. I'm ready to move on with my life. You're ready to move on with yours. Is my truce over with Naples now? Yeah, they're allied with Savoy, but... Eh. I'm not scared of I'm not scared of Savoy that much anymore, and particularly now that we are allied allied with Milan. Uh, let's go ahead and bring him back from Pomerania and fabricate another claim on our old friend Naples down here, Salerno. You shall be ours next as well. Um. So yeah, I was saying it would be just. Portugal had to have taken Melilla at some point and had to have taken them to Tacala. Um, and they would have spent, uh, it wouldn't be that bad, but at least for that one. Oh. Uh, that's okay. Finally. Now we just, and Ferrara got a step closer. He's like, I just wanted to see the battle. I'm not helping, because I'm Ferrara. And. Helping is not what Ferraras do. It's not our specialty. It sure isn't, Ferrara. Downside of them losing so badly is so there's also no, probably no easy way to get out of this war. I don't think, I don't think Clemson has any reason to offer, let us get out with a white piece, though it's not as bad as I would have expected. Well, we will kick this back up to four. Getting closer. We could go ahead and do our uh, do our military boost here, but we are not going to do that. Go ahead and gather them all up in the same place. You know, it took a little while, but things are really coming back into shape. Ferrara, that's enough of that. Uh, let's top off with our our relations with our key partners, friends, lackeys, however you want to say it. Okay, I can get him out of here now. Uh, Napoli has a river between Salerno, Capitana, Rome, and Abruzzi. So, crossing the river no matter what. Boy, Arezzo just can't get back to to potentially go into war fast enough, or, or rising up fast enough. Mm. There's no point in trying to make nice with the Ottomans. If we went to war, 14 and 11. Anybody else want to join us right now? Yeah. 
Venice, I'm warning you. I mean, I could literally send them a warning, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, oh, oh, hmm. rich and powerful, you say. Tell me more. Um, I, who is Venice allied with? Just in case. The knights, yeah, it's still just the knights in Tuscany. You mean the once three province Tuscany? I'm familiar. Uh, da, da, da. oh, awesome! Portugal, <laughs> so Portugal lost Sierra to Clemson. They're they're kind of primary holding down there. Oh, that has to be embarrassing. And we're back full up again on military power. So we will go back to our old standbys of Verona and Encana. We'll just keep boosting there. This here. Group them up, wait for the rest to be built, and we will declare war on Naples to take Napoli. First, we will go ahead and fabricate a claim, fabricate more claims. We will give it a month, and then on the 29th of May, on the 1st of June, we will declare war. Uh, oh, looks like Lucka's involved now. Lucka a them. Did it again, right at the end of the episode, too. Just so sorry. Napoli, declare war. Which is where we will leave it for now. Next time, we will uh, really put the screws to Napoli, uh, to Naples as well. In the meantime, I am Sean Sands from GamersWithJobs.com. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Let's Play Europa Universalis for Common Sense. We will see you next time.